What's up, you guys? I'm just trying to drop. Uh, but I'm dropping this video. You know, uh, this video a little different from what I usually be dropping. Uh, about the processing. You know, while I've been here in Alaska and whatever. But you know, I just got like a little different message that I just kind of want to speak up on, and maybe this relate to some of y'all. You know, I know it's gonna relate to some of y'all you know, majority of us, but not all of us, so, you know, and, like, the title is, of this, bro, it's like, uh, it's not, like, time for you to go return to your hometown yet, you know, some of us, we have to, uh, we might be away from whatever uh, profession you in, you might be away from your hometown right now, that is if you in college or, you know, uh, doing something else, you know, you, you, um, if you just move out of state on your own, you just trying to, um, make a different way, so, you know, um, right now, you, you might feel guilty because you left everything, your loved one, but, you know, you see this cycle, this pattern that you don't want, this might been going around in your home time for years and you don't want to follow in that cycle. I mean, you have been in that cycle, but you trying to break out that cycle. So, you know, you don't buck away trying to try something different. And then, you know, when you do go somewhere and you experience life outside of home and you trying to like, you know, um, do stuff a lot different than the traditional way of what stuff always been done you know, uh, it's, it's the title, like, man, it's not time to return to your hometown yet, bro. Uh, some of us have to give it, like, six months, ten months, a year, maybe two at a time. And, you know, sometimes, I just like I said, we feel guilty, you know, being gone long, you know. Uh, you know, some people might make you feel bad. they like, dang, you... You choose to go leave and go home, leave and be away from home this long, but you know, you just trying to like build to this another level. I I really won't say material material stuff, but you know, just like another spirit, you know, you know, another mindset. You trying to develop a new mindset, um, um different things or how you just want to move, you know. Uh, you know, it's it just uh, I don't have all the words together that I kind of want to say, but they there, you know, cause uh, I was trying to make this video yesterday, so you know what I'm saying. This one, you know, I feel like we the one we like. You want to say what we call it, the chosen ones? You know, the black sheets. You know what I'm saying. The black sheets of the family, the underdogs, you know, we always underrated and people always under necessary not necessarily underestimate you, but like try to put, uh, manipulate you to do things like they want you to do it like you know, they already know that you about that if you really put your mind to it. And then when you get ready to do it, people get kinda like scared because you'll normally do stuff that people from your hometown won't do, won't even try, they'll talk about it. They'll be like, yeah, I want to do this and do that. But, like, you you will actually put in the work, and you will do what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, like, this probably happens to us. We don't brush it out, and something didn't work out as planned. Then we end up back, you know, at home. And then, you know, you don't want to face these people and these people. Like, I told you that wasn't going to work. Cause you know, you know you you know in the back of your mind like, man, something gonna work out. You know, cause it can't be just this. You're like, this can't be it. You know, this this what I'm seeing around here. This can't be just the cycle. So you know, I had to go through that. I know where I'm from. Like, I at one point I had to end back home, and and I was like, oh, this can't be just this this just can't be it like like what's going on like 
I, I like it don't feel right, you know. It just don't feel right, you know, at all to be back in this place. And, you know, and then especially if you in like a helpless, hopeless uh, position because where I'm from, not a lot of jobs. You know, if you if you don't have a vehicle, you really you, you really messed up. You gonna have to always depend on somebody else for something. And I've been in places where you really don't even need no rap. You know, it's just basically you need to pay for where you need to stay. But uh, you know, when you get back there, you like you know that's not normal, man. You know, and that's why I think well. I work in Alaska, as y'all don't. Some some of you know and don't know, I do the seafood processing. So I do be gone like three, four months at a time. So this time, I'm actually gone for like 10 months. And, you know, the thing about me being gone 10 months, like, it's like normally the stuff that, like, I have to help some family members. While I'm up here, and you know, normally when I'm at home, don't nobody call me for help, and I don't really make that type of money to help. You know, like I don't make that type of money. Like I could just throw five hundred, seven hundred, a thousand dollars to somebody real quick. You know, and when I'm here, last I can, you know, kind of do that. You know, because when I'm here, I'm not paying for housing or nothing. You know, we in the dorm. That's just like the night. I got a room so I can like kind of shoot this video in private. You know, I got this room, so the room like right down the road. I mean, I'm like right there, kind of on this door, so really so I can shoot the video. So um, I don't have to pay like, you know, rent or nothing, like, you know, my food, everything like him free. So pretty much any check I get is totally like my ass, I can grip it. So if my check too, 3000 4000 you know, imagine you just getting it and not have to spend not like a dime too much. Not if you don't want to. You don't have to. You know, that's all. If I'm getting like 4000 3000 4000 you know, I, if a family member really, really in the clutch, I can't throw them 500 or 1000 And back home, you know, uh, They'll go a long way, you know. Come from like a post day. Like, man, I know people fighting over twenty, thirty dollars, forty dollars right now. Like, well it's just uh I know people really struggling do they need to get about forty dollars, fifty dollars to make it through the day, you know, and they like petty hustling, you know, and all that stuff. So, uh Yeah man, it's like this title is just bro. I feel like it's, I, I'm not, like, I'm not there where I want to be, but, you know, I'm going to let God handle it how, how he want to handle it. And then, and then there's reasons why I'm I always back in Alaska. Because, like, when I do leave Alaska and then just say I do return to my hometown, you know, after a while, it's good and great to see everybody. But after a while, if I'm there so long, it just start feeling, like, hopeless, helpless. And then, you know, I don't have time, my money done got low. And ain't got money to get low, and, like, man, it's like, oh, uh, it's like you trying to climb a hill, you know. Uh, I went and did get a job at the house, but they, they didn't even do no good because, like, man, my truck, I had a truck, and, you know, my truck started acting up, you know what I'm saying, now you got to go get parts, you know what I'm saying, and then take your car to the mechanic and all that, bro, then these people don't want you to miss these days and stuff and all that, and you spending gas, food, everything, and all that work. And then you really ain't getting nothing to, like, six or 700, 800 max. What I was at, what I was doing, you know, the max. And and like I said, like I said, you spend three, 400 out of that, have your chick home. And just say you want to spread it with your family, you know, your kid. And shit, it still costs more these days, bro. So, um, you know, you go eat at a good restaurant with you and your family. 
I got three kids. And listen, so I already know that's going to be like 160 or something off the top. Then I had to get gas and all that. You know, I already know. Like, I got 400 I don't spent about 200 already. And then maybe my little child then want some, you know what I'm saying, like little clothes or something. man. you know, that 200 gone, then nine, nine a week. That's the weekend, so money kicking in. I ain't got no money. I got to work to pay that. You know, and then I seen that when I was working at the place. How was everybody about Monday? You know, we get paid that Friday. I mean, Thursday, whatever. So that week and that next week, we come in by Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll be by Wednesday. I know the pattern. Everybody about broke. Everybody don't have no money because, like, I don't hear people come like, bro, you think you I could just get five or ten to uh, to the uh, week they pass out the chick? Because they'll cash out chicks in the workplace. And they're like, bro, you think you get five? I get five or ten to my chick? To uh, my chick hit? And I noticed that. I mean, it, was, it was like more than one people were like, man, a bunch of people came up to me. Like, even like, and I was like that. I, I ain't even have it like, have it like that. It was like, like I said, that weekend, I don't Probably Spurs, you know what I'm saying? That paycheck, paycheck stuff. So I'm buying Spurs on my key, so I'm like, and down too, so I seen that pattern. But like that pattern, I'll be hearing. Only thing is just that being kind of gone home for long, but you know, I'm trying to really build something. We, anybody that's out of state, you know, we go out of state, you know. Either to elevate our mind, you know, new mindset, or we trying to, you know, make more money than we used to make, that we used to make. So we don't go out of town for nothing, you know, because right now what, it ain't all pleasure, you know, and you still go through things here too. When you out of town, you, you, you still get tested. You get tested by, you know, work. I know our job, we get tested, you know. Uh, anything about people, you know, you just get homesick, you know, somebody call back home, things are happening at home, you know, and you, and you don't want to be away, you know, and it's like, dang, you trying to fight to elevate, put your better, family in a better position, but like, you know, you don't want to, these sometimes I be hang answering the phone, you know, because you know, you like them phone calls, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I hate them, you know, you might get them phone calls, but, you know, uh, man, it's just time, you know, to elevate, keep our head on the swivel, don't, we don't have to fight too much, you know what I'm saying? We gonna let God do, you know, the fight, you know what I'm saying? We just do our day-to-day -day operation. That you know we position and what he what position he don't got us at so we just do this day to day operation and I I know for a fact everything else gonna place itself out you know you just have to keep on going praying you know and try not to worry with that's something that I have to overcome not not to worry about things so much but you know. You know which way you want to go. You know, you know, in your in your mind, you know what you kind of want, but you kind of gotta let God, you know, lay that path out. You know, because right now it's just like it's not like I'm fighting so hard for it, and you know, and, and uh, it's it feel like a little smooth path, kind of. You know, just say you do hit a little bumps, but it's not like bad, you know, I feel like at the end of everything, which I got the 10 months I've been here since January, I believe him probably like I told, so like I told, I know I return home, so when I return home, I'll probably be home for three months, and then I'm going to return back here, so I'm trying to just, you know, see what I'll come out to the, you know, workers of this, like, you know. That's all I, I really kind of trying to say, but yeah, man. Some of us, you know, we got to we got to get out of that that cycle, of that hometown cycle, just for a little while, you know. 
I know we're not going to be gone forever because we always have to come back home. Anybody that up and say they ain't never coming home, I mean, you know, you you going to have you. If you ain't, is it different if you ain't got nobody there no more? Like, it's different if you ain't got no family or nothing where you at, you know, in your uh, whole time. But in most cases, I know probably most of us, we do, you know. I still got, like, you know, my aunties and grannies and all that, there, you know, and my sister and brother. And my kids, you know, they there, you know, they, and they don't want to move around, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't know, one day, maybe my kids, they'll see outside, so I have to take them out, you know. I know I'll have to at least get them in Houston, but, you know, uh, Everybody like it's dangerous places, but it's dangerous everywhere. It ain't even dangerous where we at, where I'm from, you know, still. You know, we got the youngins, they they doing too much, you know, where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? And it ought to seem like it should be like a peaceful place because it's small. You know what I'm saying? It's small and country, but they don't let that fool you. But, yeah, you just got to let guy out. Choose. I know most of us that, like I said, we we out on a different plan. We not around everybody making the same move, and uh, and everybody look at you like an outcast when you do that. You be like, they be like, why you going all the way out here? Like I know a lot of people like, why you going all the way to Lassa? You can do this at home. I like, not in a pattern. I don't know how they think. You know. You know, I, I always see, like, people like, you could do this at home, but I see the same people be asking you for money when you come home. You know what I'm saying? They, they ask you for this, like, Nick, I borrow this. Like, I, I be over here, last time I had to borrow a dime. At home, I had to borrow, like, $40, $50, $100. You hear me? I had to borrow some money. Because, you know, I got down. Look, I, once I got out here, man, I don't have to borrow a dime. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see number money. All the people I work with got buku money. They probably been they been here for some years. But you know what I'm saying? They got buku money. They spend three, four, five thousand and it don't even affect them. You know, it ain't many people can do even do that. You spend four, five thousand people trying to say that. And that was what I'm saying. And I can say like four, five thousand like that at home. I might not even say that all year. I had to be real strict. I had to be real strict. If I could say that all year. I don't talk about strict. Like I had to be clutching these mugs like this. You heard me? I mean, had to clutch it. But you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm I'll make more like different content. You know, I don't just wanna talk about the seafood all the time, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make other YouTube videos, but you know, I believe that's why a lot of people see my video when I make the uh, for the seafood and a lot of people come to try you know uh like on my videos i said earlier it's not a cakewalk you know what i'm saying because some, some of these places some of these places this place where i'm being pretty accident laid right back it get a little chaotic some nights but you know what i'm saying it overall it's not bad overall it's not really that bad then compared to the places i've been that i started it you know what I'm saying? You had your good time. You had your good night, your bad night. You know all that. So, uh, you know, the reason I made the video because I like, maybe, man, I could help. It, it, you know, yeah, it, it's the money and get, you know, you got to make money the little day to day. But it might be, you know, to help somebody get off some of the caps. You know, I don't been on some of the caps before. You know what I'm saying? Uh, had to be dependent on other people and stuff that didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? I I, I make these videos so some some of y'all could be your own man, you be your own woman, you know, stand on your own two, two and you know, and then people can see it like, dang, he doing much better than what he been doing. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these people I see here by themselves. Bro, they they doing a lot of uh, different things. It's like a dude, man, I way ain't never top. People like, but you know, he hearing, you know what I'm saying? He for one of the 
toughest places in America. You know what I'm saying? And he like, man, I'm trying to go. He like, I'm going to Thailand. In which he asked you to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I like God made the earth, man, for us to. God made this earth for us to, uh, man, not be stuck in one spot all the time, man. You know? It's some places we have to go and explore, man. Got to see. He had to get out and see, man. It ain't meant to stay in, in the same city year after year, day after day. Same job after job and don't get to see nothing besides a two-station bar I go to. Yeah, where I'm from, everybody go to Louisiana, go to New Orleans, and everybody go to Florida and, and Texas. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? They, and they might do that once a year. Like that little circle, like you think about Mississippi, you got Louisiana next door. You got kind of Florida next door, you know what I'm saying, but at the bottom of the map, like the coastal part. You know what I'm saying? And that's like nowhere, you know what I'm saying? You could easily get the, you know, the places, the different places around, man. You want to go to the Virgin Islands, some stuff like that, Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dominican Republic, man, Thailand. There's so much more out here, bro, you know, to do. Bali, you know what I'm saying? Believe. And, man... And like, I, I, I don't been to Mexico, you know. I never thought, bro. I never thought I came to Alaska. I, know. I thought I, I ain't never think I'd go to Mexico. I'm going to say, I had never, I ain't going to never say I didn't have a dream of it. I don't dream about going to Mexico. I don't picture me going to Mexico and I'm happy. I don't picture me coming to Alaska and I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't never thought it was going to come to, like, a real reality. So I know a lot of times, man, if, you picture something, maybe that's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? You you picture something, you visualize something in your mind that's going to happen, you know? Uh, it's just when that opportunity comes, it come, you know? And God don't let you know. And a lot of times, man, you, you know, I got to find myself get back into stuff. So a lot of times you got to pray on stuff, bro. You got to pray and pray or do work, you know what I'm saying? It might not work. All in that one month or two months or three month time span, six months, it might be from two, three years from now, maybe more than that, but it don't happen, you know what I'm saying? It's just according to how you kinda move, don't don't let anything put you in this stuck situation. Like man, like these cycles I see, man, it's like people are just robot, bro. Uh they got this never in the cycle, bro, like what they doing in their life, you know? It ain't nothing wrong with that. That that's what they want, you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking what nobody want, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want nobody to tell me what I want, you know? I don't care about what nobody else want, you know what I'm saying? Just don't knock me with what I want. Don't you know? Don't kill my my dreams short, you know? So that's that's all it is. But when you kind of chosen, man, I feel like a black sheep. Black sheets is not them but chosen people. The people that finna change situations about everything. You know what I'm saying? Because everything gonna start with you and it gonna, it's gonna be different. It's gonna start with you. Everything gonna be different around you. Uh, now, I'll just, just drop a new video, bro, because I know uh, I've been out here for like 23 minutes. So, like I said, I wanna drop different videos. Not all necessarily gonna be a battle loss, but you know, different stuff. So, man, y'all subscribe to my channel, bro. Just subscribe. I'm, I'm trying to my best to, you know, to help out the best way I can, you know. And if I learn something different, I'm gonna put that content out there, you know. I wanna put more content on on the stock thing, but you know, that's just something I gotta. Work on really, really good, you know, for myself, you know. At the end, I could probably put content out there, you know. Well, for us, I'm just putting the one about Alaska, and then, you know, so uh, some people can come. Not every people, everybody gonna be down with it to come. But I know that some of y'all people might be in these places where you, it's just number minimum wage things you're doing, you know, little labor jobs, you know, bank. Getting you so much of this every week, and they want you to be here and sitting here this time and this time. 
And the good thing about like here, if you do do two ten months, just say if you do want to go come back here, I'll go somewhere else. But the thing about it, yeah, you did like doing ten minutes like I'm doing. Then you go home. I told I told them I'm doing December. Really stuff don't kick back up to January. Just say you got three months at the house. Them three months, you don't save the lot. You don't save the lot. And then you can get your unemployment from Alaska. Every week. So now you don't have to dip in the stuff you save. So you can get your unemployment, your unemployment from Alaska. And it's pretty much easy to get it. Because uh, you don't put it in time. So you get your unemployment. And then now, uh, if you don't want to do the... Th and then that's why I'm saying you got a choice. If you don't want to come back to the same place with the same country, you can go to another place and get on like another three month contract. You still got all that money. You get to the pub. By the time you make it back out here, uh, you back you back in the cycle of saving again. So you know what I'm saying. And these and especially for like people like I know a lot of people. You ain't got like these like kids and stuff and bills and stuff. So you can pretty much travel, like you know what I'm saying. You you can um, you can travel and stuff like that, man. And then ten months, man. Some people it might be enough to open a business, or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely looking to invest in something. You know what I'm saying? I might um I don't want to say all my plan, but you know I'm definitely looking to invest in something else. You know I'm trying to see how these ten months going. It been kind of a little rocky. We've been a little slow. We kind of been busy, but you know, I only ain't been doing like 11, 12 hours. But, you know, it's all good. So I still got, what, this April, May, June, July, August, September, October. How long? Oh, how long? Wait, 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 August, September. So I, I'm going to just say six months. I got six more months. You know what I'm saying? Six months more stacking. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost close at 10th hour. You know what I'm saying? Just with just a little bit. I'm almost at 10th hour. Just with a little bit of stacking. And I got six more months. You know? And I still get a little paycheck in October when I come on the program. So, you know. Uh-huh. Most people can't even say they got close to ten thousand saved right now. You know what I'm saying? I know I wouldn't, wouldn't even didn't, it would not even be possible for me at home. Not what I was doing. I don't try. I might have got close sometime, but shoot. You know. Uh that was like a hard field job. But uh hey, they played out, you know. But some of the other places, man, you gonna have to sleep in that night and day and you got a home. <laughs> you gonna go to see hearing don't affect you as much cause you know what I'm saying it's really not your own so you know you, know, you go go to your bunk and psh, lay it down and psh, get back up and do it again you know what I'm saying at home you know you gonna you gonna wanna you know you know do it things on the weekend with your kids and stuff or here on the, you know, or here on the weekend don't even exist the weekend don't even exist up here when you're at home, like, cause you work so much, the weekend don't do not exist. The you know, weekend will seem like a Monday or Tuesday. Some days you don't even remember what day it is. You know what I'm saying? A weekend is not a weekend of him. You know, until it's a weekend that you actually out, but you you don't even look for it. at home. You don't look for the weekend, cause you at home. You know what I'm saying? So the the. The way of thoughts of hearing is different. I don't know for some of them, but for me, it's different. The weekend do not exist up here for me. Uh, uh, a Saturday and Sunday is just like a Monday and Tuesday for me up here. So, well, we just trying to get it in. I'm trying to get it in, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I might sign another contract, but I'm trying to get it in, man. I'm just trying to. Do something different, man. And if somebody out there and the, see my page, man, reach out to me. You know, for the last uh, reach out to me if you know something else to, to uh, invest in. You know, y'all know some investment type deals, some 
anything, you know what I'm saying? Put me on game, I'm gonna put you on game. And you know what I'm saying? We just, this the channel I want uh, everybody to like look out for one another, bro. But you know, I'm definitely feel like maybe if I keep it, what I'm doing, man, maybe the next two or three years, man, I can be at the next top level, you know what I'm saying? Get from that uh, average Joe type game. I'm mean, gonna always be average, chilling, low key, you know what I'm saying? Average, but you know what I'm saying? When we step by, I wanna do something big, you know what I'm saying? And that's like big, like helping, not flashing off, flashing off, man, helping, you know what I'm saying? Do something big or helping, helping the Knicks, man, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's all, that's how God put us in for, man, to help the Knicks and not step on each other. You know what I'm saying? So, man, y'all will. I'm going to, out of the talk of 30 minutes, so y'all hit me up, you know. Uh, y'all can look at my page, find my email, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just hit me up if you need me. And I'll try to answer everything the best way I can, but... God bless y'all. Say your prayers. Dream big. And peace out.